Hi, my magical friends. It's Jamie from Magical Me, here with our oracle guidance for the remainder of the month of June 2015. Um, as you can see, we are out here in a little bit of uh, the wilder part of my backyard, and you will find out a little bit more about that in a moment, and it's going to come up in our guidance. Um, however, it is a beautiful six o'clock afternoon. Um, and so we've got my neighbors outside, the animals barking, um, you're going to hear a lot of noise in the background, and so I do apologize for that in advance, especially if you hear some things that um, you wouldn't ordinarily hear. However, um, like I said, it's all about the message that's coming through this month, and it's all about throwing, um, you know, caution to the wind, and, you know, what is more beautiful uh, and natural and free than these beautiful wild honeysuckles behind me. Okay, so we'll get to it. Um, the first card that came up for the remaining of this month being as I am late with posting the Oracle Guidance, but um, couldn't be a better time, especially being that the beginning of the month was a little different than what we're experiencing now. So we've got the first card here and it is Maynard and it is from the Vampire Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. Anybody who's been following my Magical Me page knows that I just really took a liking to this new vampire deck that I got, and I've, you know, really been feeling guided a lot lately to use it. Um, so, Maynard, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, to be honest. However, um, what they were, a Maynard, was an ancient Greek uh, priestess that was supposedly um, held by the order of the Greek god Dionysus, or Dionysus. Um, I've always, you know, I see his name pronounced, but not really sure exactly how you pronounce that, so sorry. But they were, um, these ancient priestesses that were, anybody who's familiar with Dionysus or Dionys, um, he was a bit of a partier. He was wild. Um, they said that he's known as the god of wine, um, because he did get a little licentatious, and he did like to drink, and he did like to, um, drink to the point of intoxication. And these priestesses of his were said to be the ones that did the, uh, much more erotic taboo rituals and, um, embracing their inner wildness type of thing. So there's a reason that this card came out. Um... The rest of this month, um, I don't know if some of you have been feeling this already. I myself have been. Um, this need to, you know, get to the point where we're so tied down by what we're supposed to do, what we need to do, what others want us to do. Um, and the rest of this month is going to be about all of that coming out to the surface. Um, and Mercury Retrograde had definitely pushed that along and helped it some. Um, whereas like in the past week, you know, um, for me, myself, anything and everything has been coming out of my mouth that either I no longer will tolerate, I no longer want to do, um, you know, so for many of you, you may have been experiencing the same thing where we're coming to a point where we're just like, you know what, to heck with all of it. I don't want to do any of that anymore. I don't want to deal with any of these things or any of these situations or any of these people. And, you know, a lot of eruptions are happening. A lot of endings and relief are coming to a head right now. Um, because that is exactly what is meant to happen for us. We are being pushed by our higher selves, by the universe, um, to embrace our true, authentic, and primal selves. And when I say that, what I mean is um, the, the person or the, the energy and the being that our soul was when we first came into this world or before we came into this world, before we were programmed as to um, society's expectations and everybody else's expectations. This is all about focusing, focus, focusing in on what you want to do with yourself. Um, do you want to get a little crazy and go dancing? Do you want to um, do things that you know most people would think you are crazy for doing? Um, maybe you want to jump into a new project, uh, start a new venture, take a trip unexpectedly, you know, go backpacking across Europe. Whatever these wild and crazy things that you 
really just want to do and don't want to have to hear anybody else's say on the matter. Um, now is those times for you to be stripped completely bare of all the things you don't want to do to do the things that you do want to do. So it's really all about just embracing you and the moment and just being free of everything, okay, which is why I was saying why I'm back here in the more wilder part of my yard, the more overgrown, and the birds are here eating it at the bird feeders, and my cat's laying on the table, and, you know, the wild uh, noises going on in the background, and it's because it's just enough already with all of the um, fronts that we have to put up, all the masks that we have to wear to make other people happy, to please other people, um, you know, that is that is why you know, this card is coming out and it is a way of stripping you down and really helping you to see what it is that's no longer serving you, especially if you've got some things that, you know, you, you know, just tonight, for example, my husband had to go somewhere, um, to a meeting or something. He said, you know, I really don't want to go. I really just feel like I don't want to go. And I said, well then don't go. And he was very frustrated and he was very, um, kind of hostile when he came home, to be honest. And I, I couldn't understand why. And I said, what is going on? And it was, Literally because the, this emotion was coming out in him that was making him agitated and grumpy. And maybe some of you can relate and have been feeling the same thing. Because he had to do something he just didn't want to do. And he ended up going anyway um, because that's just him and he's, that's his choice and he has free will. So that's what he did. Um, but do you see what I'm trying to explain? These things that we don't want to do anymore, the frustration that we're feeling or maybe the release of the emotions, they're all coming to the surface because it's trying to show us that this is necessary to get out of you. Maybe arguments have been happening a lot lately because you've been really saying what you will no longer tolerate or take from anyone. Um, there's a difference between indulging and honoring, and I'm definitely encouraging everybody to honor yourself and honor these things that you want to do. Again, you know, I don't know what your um, example of oh, being wild and free is. Um, so always do things within caution, be safe, do things within reason, but by all means, if you want to go out and dance under the full moon or light a fire and put on some um, beautiful, uh, mystical, magical music and dance to that, or if you want to sit barefoot in your backyard and lay down on the ground and meditate, then do it. Do whatever it is that your soul is calling you to do. And the next card that we have, it goes right along with it, so there's not a whole lot for me to say about it, other than we're just getting that confirmation. This card is the call of the night. <laughs> this card is the call of the night, um, and it says daring, adventure, excitement. So there's this part of you that longs to be wild, longs to be free, longs to howl at the moon, and this card is so beautiful because you can see the wolf in the background and you can see um, even you know in the background of that you've got the uh, moon back there so it really makes me feel like this this desire this ancient primal calling to just run wild and run free and be at peace with that part of you this part of you that you felt like you've had to conceal for so very long or who says who says you have to conceal that part of you by all means be wild and free Enjoy your life. It's way too short to be anything that someone else wants you to be. Go back to who it is that you truly are and embrace your inner wolf, your inner goddess, your inner, your inner god, and just let it flow. Don't hold back. Don't think about it. Just let it flow. Okay? So that is for the remaining month of June, our guidance all about embracing your divine inner primal self, um, doing what it is that you long to do, that your soul needs you to do. And in doing so, we are um, cleansing our souls and returning them to their natural state and see how you sing and flow after this. Okay? So I will be back in July, hopefully on time this time, and will bring us our guidance forth then. Have a wonderful rest of your month, my magical souls. Love and light to you all.